Tyler Reddick turned around by Armand Caroga. Third caution of the day comes out on lap 53. Got by the 77. Yet another caution and a restart within the last 10 laps of this race. See, Reddick gets a good run here off the corner. Oh, and just gets loose. Gets loose, gets loose. And I don't know if Kuroga was trying to regain control of his truck or said, you run into me, I'm going to run into you back. Let's take a look from Ryan Blaney's perspective. He just tries to make the move on the inside of... Got, got, loose, got loose before he ever got there, didn't he, Michael? Yes, he did. I think it was a situation where the 77 was just trying to regain control and move down to the inside and caught the right rear quarter panel on that 19 truck and turned him into the outside wall. That's possible. They're wrecking behind them. You heard Brett Griffin, the spotter, talk about Armand Caroga crashing from. I wonder if that might have had anything to do with the 19 truck. Whoa. It looked like the, well. the zero two of Tyler Young got into the wall. It looked like the 19 truck was involved with that. Then the 19 truck came off of that and made contact with the 77. I just think the 19 truck tried to wreck him once didn't work so he wrecked him again wow yeah. obviously he felt like the contact earlier was intentional and he uh, he is being parked we're told and he uh, it will report to the NASCAR hauler after the race yeah.